I started out working for my father in Philadelphia. My father owned two hotels and several businesses. So I have experience in hotel, motel management uh, and business development. When I left Philadelphia, I moved to Atlanta. My mother owned a dry cleaners. I managed and operated her dry cleaners. I later started a job with the airlines. I worked at the airlines for 17 years. I owned and operated a restaurant, a successful restaurant for almost seven years, Chicago Philly Steaks and Hoagies. We had the best Philly cheesesteaks in Atlanta. I closed the business because of the armed robberies. So I have uh, experience in restaurant, hotel, business development. The residents are going to have to show up if they want change. You can change the leadership, but if you don't change the behavior, then everything unfortunately will remain the same. As a resident, whenever there's a meeting, I send notices to at least 50, 60 people that I know. So as a council person, I will make sure that everyone either gets an email or a phone call, a robocall. The residents deserve accountability, they, res they deserve transparency, and whatever I do in terms of spending, I'd like to have a cabinet. I'd like to speak with a cabinet and get their opinion on monies that are, are, that are being spent because it's actually their money. Uh, if I felt as though I needed a raise, I would want to meet with the community and tell them that I'm, being over, I'm overworked. Uh, I need a little more money, I need some help. What are your thoughts? I think for the council people that are complaining that they don't make enough money, maybe they're, they don't have the right job. Uh, years ago, back in the 40s, 50s, politicians were very wealthy businessmen. So they didn't need the constituents' money to uh, pay their house notes, car notes, and, and so forth. So I think that, uh, that, that, sh that there was a paradigm shift. And now, uh, uh, many council people are depending on the monies that they're making, the part-time monies that they're making, to um, pay for their luxuries. I think that uh, a, a senior facility is very much needed. I spoke with an owner of a facility and she seemed to be interested in having uh, a facility similar to the, what she has uh, that sits kind of on the border of Atlanta in the city of South Fulton. She's looking for another location. But I was told that one of the council people recommended that Fulton Industrial would be a perfect place. And I don't think it's a good idea to have seniors uh, go on Fulton Industrial. It's not safe. And uh, if, if they move a facility on Fulton Industrial, it'll be a rental situation, pretty much like what we're doing with the city hall. It seems like all of our offices are rented. We don't own anything, but we've got hundreds of acres of land. In my opinion, I think it's an oversight issue. Uh, nobody's watching. It, it's the same with children. Children will do whatever they can get away with. So uh, I think that if there were more accountability, uh, I don't think the spending would be the way it is. We do own land and it's, uh, there is a plan to build a police facility, uh, but it doesn't seem to be at the top of the list right now. It's my understanding that the police uh, precinct that you're referring to is near Hartsfield-Jackson uh, Airport and the city signed a four-year lease. Uh, I believe, don't quote me, but I believe it's around $24,000 a month. And so if they build the police precinct, say within the next two years, we're gonna be paying that lease for the remainder of four years. I, it kind of feels like a little kickback going on. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me.
we're a city. We don't have a city hall. We don't have a we don't have a courthouse. We don't have a police department. But the city now wants to spend. They've reduced the Christmas um, uh, fee from four hundred thousand dollars down to a hundred thousand. What in the world? Where are we going to put a hundred thousand uh, dollars in Christmas decorations on someone's leased building? What I've noticed is that there may be a lot of backdoor deals, uh, procurement, or public works correction. I believe it was public works uh, moved out of the city of uh, city hall last year. They moved over to Boat Rock, and they spent one hundred and fifty thousand dollars renovating renovating uh, that facility. Uh, I think the lease runs out at the end of the year. Uh, why would the city spend $150,000 to renovate someone else's lease property? Demographically, we're close to the airport. We're close to the airport. We're close to downtown. You can get to Buckhead in 30 minutes. Uh, Alpharetta, maybe 45 minutes. Uh, you can, uh, Callaway Gardens, a little over an hour. We're centrally located. I think we're in a great location. We live in a rainforest, but if the developers don't start abiding by the tree ordinances, uh, we can, our, 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 our environment will change. I would like to see us to be able to function within our city. A lot of residents come in our city, they're working, but they take their monies back to the other areas. And, uh, I think we're losing a lot of revenue. We're better than warehouses. We're better than Amazon stores. We're better than uh, developers coming in and just throwing apartments any place they want to. And it's really hurting the residents that have been in the city for many years and have paid off their homes. And uh, it, 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 has an, it has an effect on the values of the homes, which is not good. So demographically, we live in the best area in terms of accessibility. Atlanta, Buckhead, uh, Callaway Gardens, um, Serenby Farms. There's a, a, a place called 360 uh, Farm. It's a organic farm. So we, we're centrally located. We have some wonderful things uh, around us. Uh, many years ago, um, there was a plan to uh, have a rail system uh, from Atlanta to Savannah. And I think that if we could figure that out, we'd have a beach. We'd be within an hour from Savannah Beach. Okay. So what are your plans to aesthetically make the city better? I think that we need to push back on 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 these uh, development deals, these apartment deals, these uh, low-income houses. I think we should have affordable housing. I would even like to see developments uh, that have um, uh, 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 different price points within a development. You have some homes that are for two hundred thousand. 400,000, 600,000, but they're in different sections so that the children grow up in, an, in a neighborhood that they're proud of, as opposed to putting all the low income people over uh, on the other side of the track. I'd like to see those type of mixed communities. I'd like to see some mixed use retail uh, uh, communities. Uh, we have nothing but chicken and tacos and Chinese food. And um, most of the restaurants that we have are unhealthy. And I'd like to see a variety of, uh, there's so many fabulous restaurants in Atlanta. And uh, I'm sure they would love to come to the city of South Fulton. Uh, I don't think the council right now is in that space. It, it seems like they're just interested in rezoning and building, rezoning and building. Uh, 
uh, uh, traffic studies. The, traf uh, the traffic studies have been almost non-existent. Um, recently, um, there's an apartment unit that's been built on the other side of the Publix at Sandtown. Uh, it's my understanding that that apartment complex doesn't have a good sewage system over there. So you're, you're adding apartments, you're adding these uh, subdivisions in areas where there are no sewage, no traffic studies. I would need to meet with the residents and have a discussion of the pros and cons of what the council's voting on. Uh, not an argument, but a, a debate. You know, I would allow them to tell me why they think it's best, and I can tell them from my perspective why it's not the best thing. But as a council person, I have to go along with the people because I represent District 1. On several uh, occasions, I've been uh, chastised. Uh, the council, several council people tell me when I walk up to the podium, uh, I don't know why certain seniors are talking about taxes when they don't hardly pay any taxes. The reason that I'm an advocate for my neighbors is because I think it's, I, I, I don't think it's right. Although I'm getting the benefit because of my age of not having to pay these high taxes, I think that my residents should have the benefit as well. I'm running for city council because I am upset about what appears to be malfeasance. And I think that if I'm allowed to be in that position, I'll do whatever I can to make the residents that I'm representing their life better. I'm running for city council because I'd like to see after school programs. A lot of the children are getting in trouble because they have no, out, they have no outlet. They have nothing to do. Uh, we should have an aquatic center in each district of the city of South Fulton. There's no way that the whole city can uh, use the Welcome All swimming pool. It's, it's just not going to accommodate the whole city. Uh, where are the hospitals? We have no hospitals. Uh, I had to go to the hospital, uh, I think last year, and Grady turned me away. Uh, they rode me around the city for like almost an hour trying to find someone that would accept me, and that's not acceptable. We have no urgent care facilities. Uh, we should have uh, uh, little league teams uh, we should have, um, I'd like to see us have uh, grown in Georgia markets uh, where we grow our own um, vegetables, we can raise organic meats, and we can be seen as a grown in Georgia, city of South Fulton, grown in Georgia. Constituents that are tired of being uh, overlooked, tired of being mistreated, tired of being ignored. Uh, because unless the residents uh, take a stand, it, there's, there's not going to be much that can be done. The people have the power. And I'd like to see the people take the initiative to take the city back. And if I'm elected, I'm, I'm, I'm committed to work for the people, to the, for the best interests of the people.